playing Eldritch Horror with the Egypt sideboard. The problem is the Egypt sideboard won't fit onto the camera, so you'll just have to believe me that it's here on the right. Um, we are playing with three heroines today. Zoe Samaras in London. She has her Holy Cross. Um, Lola Hayes in Tokyo with her Derringer and an improved influence of plus five. And Jacqueline Fine, um, she sits over here in what I believe, I don't even know which city this is supposed to be, Chicago, I believe. And she has a flesh ward and a, um, and a clue token. They both have, uh, they all have their my homemade um, uh, personal stories for them. And we also have um, connections. So uh, Jacqueline Fine and Zoe Samaras are mystic knights. Anytime either you or your partner passes a spell check with two or more successes, the casting investigator may exhaust this card. If they do, you and your partner each gain one sanity. Um, Zoe Samaras and Lola Hayes are both um, survivors. Either you or your partner may exhaust this card before making a will check to gain a plus one to the check. Which is especially good because um, Zoe Samaras does a lot of um, fighting using will. And lastly, we have Students of the Arcane, which is the connection between um, Lola Hayes and Jacqueline Fine. After the initial setup, any time either you or your partner gains a spell from any game effect other than this card, he, um, the other draws a random spell from the spell deck as well, which is really cool. Um, we are playing against Nefren Carr. Everything is set up. We're going to take the first mystery and turn it over, and it reads, Worshippers of, the, of, the, of a Forsaken Pharaoh. The Church of Starry Wisdom was founded upon the premise of unlocking the mysteries of the Shining Trap. Pezohedron, trapezohedron. Now they aim to bring about the return of Nefren Ka, the Dark Pharaoh. After an investigator resolves a location encounter on the Egypt sideboard, he may spend one clue to track down the followers of the Dark Pharaoh. If he spends the clue, a cultist monster ambushes him. If he defeats it, place one Eldritch token on this card. At the end of the mythos phase, if there are Eldritch tokens on this card equal to the number of mysteries of, 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 of people, um, solve this mystery. Okay, um, so we need three. We're going to put this over here so we don't forget. Um, and let's look at the board. We have um, one um, clue token in London, one gate in London, and one monster in London. Um, she is our monster slayer, um, Zoe is. So a couple of house rules. First of all, um, trading items or clues is always free. It's not an action. There is no set order in which we will take our turns. So every round we will decide who will go first and then who will go second, who will go third to add a tactical um, dimension to this. And um, everyone can say once um, each turn without spending an action that they just wipe the reserve clean to replace it with new cards if we feel that we don't want the cards that are present. So Zoe, first of all, is going to do a, a focus action, and then she's going to move to London. Um, next up we have um, Lola Hayes, and she is going to start um, exerting her influence. She rolls five dice to see if she can buy any goodies. And she has no successes. That was a lost action. And then she's going to, I would say, she's going to get a travel token. Yeah. Ship travel. And Jacqueline Fine is going to... She is going to move one, two, and she's going to sit there on this clue. So now it's Zoe. Zoe will fight the monster. Whoopsie. And in order to do so, we need to look at the monster. It's a ghost. Um, and she needs to do a will test. She has a will of four. Plus she has survivor. 
So she's going to add one to this test and then she has two from her um, Holy Cross. So she's going to add two more. And then she subtracts one for the ghost. Fives and sixes counts as successes. She has one, two, three, four successes. Um, and this uh, monster has um, a toughness of two, so the monster is killed. She's going to keep this. Oh yeah, you can use monster um, trophies to gain clues. If you have five monster trophies, you gain one clue. And um, that's also a house rule of mine. And on her next um, encounter, and I don't know if this is the right order, but she fought the monster, and now she's going to encounter the space as well. So let's do the encounter phase, starting with um, Zoe, because I don't see why you should have to wait another round. So she draws an encounter. She's in a city. The young Egyptologist's interest is piqued by your arcane ability, and she offers to teach you a blessing from the Book of the Dead, if you share your knowledge with her. Law minus one. If you pass, gain this clue and a glamour spell. Okay, let's see. She needs, she has two dice. And she rolls two successes, so she does gain the clue. And she gets a glamour spell. This is the first one we drew. It's find gate. Play with the top gate of the gate stack revealed. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, so that was that. Next up is um, Lola Hayes in Tokyo. She's going to, in to encounter the Tokyo space. A monk in tattered green robes teaches you to draw the Emerald Mandala. You can use it to ward off evil or to speak to the Emerald Lama. Choose one. One monster of your choice loses to health or advance doom by two and gain a promise of power condition. Well, she's going to do the monster thing. And since there aren't any, it's not going to, because that's not something we're going to do. We're not going to advance anything here. Sorry. Um, and now we have, and I don't care if this is illegal because there are no monsters. Um, so now we've got Jacqueline Fine. Jacqueline Fine is going to encounter this. I haven't won this game once, so I don't care if, I'm, if, I, if I make it easier for me. Um, she is in a sea space. You notice a shady passenger aboard the ship and sneak into his cabin to snoop. Observation minus one. She rolls two dice. And she succeeds. If you go, uh, if you pass, you find documents linking him to the Brotherhood of the Beast. Gain this clue and one additional clue. Okay. You like this. And that was that round. So now it's the mythos phase. <clears throat> First of all, this one moves. We have a reckoning and we have a gate. So first of all, this is a blue one, so it means that doom moves. Then we draw another gate, it's San Francisco. And we draw a monster. It's a ghoul. Frostbite. Oh, and, and a Reckoning. Um, what happens here on the Reckoning? Each investigator may move one space towards the bent pyramid. Yeah, do let's. One, one. For her, the closest would probably be into... Would probably be to Tokyo and then this way. <clears throat> okay. Um... Anyone else with a reckoning? Yes, she does. Test law. Zoe needs to test law for her spell. She 
she passes. One success. You, your perception of reality is warping. Lose one sanity unless you discard this card. We're going to discard this card because that spell isn't that interesting. I don't really care which, which gates are coming up. Um, you know, that's... For me, that's neither here nor there. We will take what we get. Um, each investigator loses one... Okay, so we've got a cold snap. Frostbite stings your ears and nose as you stagger through the cold, desperate to find any sort of shelter. The bite, the bitter cold has crept into your coat and gloves, chilling you to the, your bone. Each investigator loses one health and one sanity and gains a hypothermia condition. Whoa. Okay. That doesn't sound good, and that wasn't even an evil one. That was just a normal one. Okay. Back in here, hypothermia conditions. I wonder what they are like. Um, when you perform a rest action, you cannot recover health. Roll one die on a four or five or six, discard this card. Okay. Okay. Oh, whenever, once per round, when another investigator gains a non-common condition, you may look at the back of that card and gain one clue. Sudden cold chills you to your bone and shocks your body and mind. Lose one health and one sanity. Okay, so she gains one clue. This is clue central here. And then... The temperature has dropped and you are unable to warm yourself. You must seek shelter if you hope to survive um, the night. Become delayed. Okay. And she gets another clue. So she should go um, over there straight away and start um, solving riddles over there. And what was it again? You have to do a location encounter. Okay. Um, so that was that. Next up is... Um, yeah, I think everyone who's got a so first so first Jacqueline is going to do her thing she's going to buy a, a, um, um, a boat ticket and then she's going to move here that's her done. Um, Zoe is going to go to the pyramids, one, and then she's going to move to, um, how does that work again? She can move to the bent pyramid and have an encounter there and then we have um, Lola Hayes she's going to try and get stuff again she also has a ship ticket so first she's going to try and get some stuff going And she rolls one success, which is brilliant because she doesn't get anything. So that's not going to happen. So now she's going to uh, travel here. Um, so now we have the encounter phase. We're going to start with Jacqueline. She has a generic sea encounter. Um, no, city encounter, my bad. You wander through the aisles of an antique bookstore. Although many extremely rare books can be found here, the organizational system is almost impossible to decipher. Law minus one. She has four law, so she rolls three dice. And she has one success. If you pass, you're able to track down a hidden gem. gem. Gain one tome artifact.
here I've got um, artifacts. Let's see. That's not a tome. 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 Tome. Elder key. <clears throat> you may spend one health. To move to a space containing a gate or dream portal. Once per round, you may spend one health in place of spending a clue token. Okay, that's an interesting one. Goody. Okay. Okay, so that was her encounter. And next up is um, Lola Hayes. <clears throat> She's in the same spot. The syndicate is engaged in a gang war with local thugs and is under intense legal scrutiny. You try to trade your political clout for assistance. Test influence. She has five. And she has one success. Um, if you pass, gain one service asset from the reserve or one random service asset from the deck. Okay, there aren't any in the reserve. Let's start looking. Trinket, trinket, item. Service, Ward Evil. When you gain this card, immediately discard one monster of your choice, then discard this card. Okay, so uh, we're not going to take this one, because so we're going to take Agency. Okay, they're all like this, so okay, we're going to discard this card. There aren't any monsters, that was... Um... Okay. So at least nothing terrible happens, but even if we'd failed the... Um the um we wouldn't have failed terribly okay so um zoe is going to have an encounter at the pyramid at night the black wind swirls about the graves of the recently deceased and not long after the dead claw their way to the surface if you search through a collection you search through a collection of ancient papyrus scrolls hoping to find a way to send the risen dead into the afterlife that's always good test observation she has one she rolls a three. Try as you might, you can't find enough. Uh, you can't find anything in the scrolls that will help you. Lose one sanity. You try to combat the risen dead. Um, test strength. She passes. If you. Okay, so there is nothing. If she passes, then nothing happens. Okay. So that was that. Um, mythos. Oh, that's a beneficial one. Doctors have no explanation for the viril virulence of the disease, but you know that one that on occasion a reckless wizard will invoke Hastalik to serve his dark purposes. Ongoing rumor. As an encounter, an investigator on Istanbul may attempt to stop the spreading illness at its source. Um, observation three. If he passes, he may spend clues equal to half. Okay. When there are no Eldritch tokens on this card, each investigator loses three health. Then solve this rumor. Oh my god, we really need to take care of this one. And this is a beneficial one, mind you. So, um... So, um, yeah. Okay, good. Next round. Um, Jacqueline is going to do a focus action. Um, 
and then she is going to move to here. Um, Lola is going to move here as well and she's trying to use her influence again to buy something. And she rolls no successes. Um, and Zoe is going to move to She's going to first do a focus action again. Oh no, she has the possibility of getting tasks. I just wonder what a task unique asset actually is. Let's say if we can let's see if we can find any. Actually, we could have gotten rid of the ghoul, and we do get rid of the ghoul because we did have a monster there on the last turn. Um, whenever you gain a clue during a research encounter, spawn one clue. When you may, then you may spend three clues and discard this card to advance the active mystery by one. That's not too bad. So that was her first action, and as a second action, she is going to get herself a focus token, and she's just going to sit there. Okay, um, encounters. First of all, um, Jacqueline Fine. Is going to try and see the contagion by rolling three dice. For her observation. Well, she only moved once, didn't she? And that's, what, that's all she did, wasn't it? So she's going to get herself a focus. And she manages to do this without spending this. And she's going to remove these. And she's going to spend half the number of um, investigators in clue tokens. I'm going to put this here. That's it. Um, okay. So this one is solved. And goes away. With a blue card. Next up is our friend. She's going to encounter the Istanbul space. Um, the moon horse carries you across a terrifying void. Test will. Her will is three. She passes. If you pass, it helps you to rescue a stranded stranger, gain one random ally asset, and improve your influence. So her influence is six now, and she gains an ally, which is very important because that's her personal story. Um, I know that there are allies in there because I saw them earlier. Opus Arcana, Sanctuary, Courier Needed, Tommy Gun, Handcuffs, Fine Clothes, Camera,
And here we are, expedition guide. When you spend a focus to roll a die when resolving an observation or um, strength test, you may re-roll up to two dice instead. Expedition guide, that's very good. And Lola Hayes. If Lola, ga Lola gains an ally, place track the boards in play. You know, all I really needed was my audience, Lola said to her friend. I've survived bad reviews and cursed plays. I can certainly survive whatever melodrama the mythos can cook up for me. Once per turn, Lola may exhaust this card before making a spell check to receive a plus one bonus to that check. So now the point is also what we mustn't forget is if somebody rolls a die, um, or does a, any form of die rolling, while she is in their space, um, they gain plus one as well. So now it's Zoe, she's going to try this again. Uh, she has one clue. Uh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Dark Pharaoh, deep within the pyramid, you come across a pair of statues of the blind apes of truth, surrounded on all sides by stone sarcophagi. Upon closer inspection, you find that the intricately carved sarcophagi depict not human bodies, but those of demons and other dark creatures, will minus one. She has four will, so she rolls three will. And she fails, so she's going to use um, one focus. And she fails again, and another focus, and she fails again. Horrified, you stumble back, we're falling heavily upon your side, dazed, and you attempt to stand, only to find yourself gazing into infinity. Oh my god, she's devoured. Now that was, um... <laughs> that was terrible. Um, yeah. Okay, so, um, Zoe is, is devoured, which means we have to replace her. So we're just going to get rid of everything she ever owned. Oh my, that was terrible. Poor Zoe, I really like the character. Um, Zoe goes away, and we are going to replace her with and before we do this we need to move the doom of course. We're going to replace her with gonna take Diane Stanley I believe let's see we, we do need somebody who's very good at fighting No, that, that would be um, Akachi then. We're going to take Akachi on... Uh, sorry, Lily Chen. she gets a protective amulet asset and one lucky rabbit's foot. Uh, 
and she starts in Shanghai. One rabbit's foot and one protective amulet. Rabbit's foot remains elusive. So, here we are. Okay, good. So, once per round, you may reroll one die when resolving a test, and the protective amulet gives her plus one um, will during combat encounters, which is not too bad. Okay. Good. So um, that was that. That was terrible. She's dead. Since she was devoured, we won't bother with, you know, like being able to find her stuff. And I mean, she's been devoured, um, so she's pre pretty much gone. Okay, next up is. Um, uh, next up is um, Jacqueline Fine. She's going to want to travel over here, and from there, she can go to the. Cairo. She's going to go to Cairo. Um, we're going to try again if we can use our influence to gain anything. And this time around we have um, two successes. Um, and for this we're going to get the 45 automatic. Um, and this is replaced by a 38 revolver. Okay. 
So that's number one. Number two is we're going to go to the pyramids. And that's all we're going to do. And Lily Chen is going to immediately... Um, she's going to start closing gates. She's going to buy a train ticket, one, two, and then she's in Istanbul. Okay, so, um, Jacqueline has an adventure, an encounter, I should say. Um, black wind. You stand atop a sprawling sand dune, watching the black wind blow swiftly across the desert. From city to city it blows, another any... A smothering anything that stands before it and leaving only smoking ruins behind. You examine your map carefully to, de to determine where the black wind will strike next. Observation three. And she rolls no successes, so she's going to use her focus token. And she rolls no successes. When you arrive at the village, it has already been destroyed. Lose two sanity. Grief-stricken, you attempt to perform a basic funerary rite for the slain villagers. She passes. Okay. These are difficult. Okay. Um, next up is um, uh, Lily Chen in Istanbul. The, f the light from Maiden's Tower reveals a storm-tossed ship. You dive into the water to search for survivors for strength. Uh, she passes. If you pass, you rescue a drowning sailor. Gain one random ally from the deck. It's never too bad. So they're all... Let's see. Syndicate agent. Com <laughs> gain plus two in combat encounters. You may roll one die when resolving, re-roll one die when resolving a combat encounter. Um, that's brilliant. So now she has um, six strength in combat and she can re-roll two dice in total. Very good. Okay. Um, this one goes away. Okay. Lola Hayes in the pyramids. I'm actually not sure when I should be using these as opposed to those. I think I've actually been using... I'm not quite sure when I should be using these cards because I've also got those cards. Okay, I may have been using the wrong cards. So what are these for then? For ye... Oh, 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 I think... No. I have no idea what these cards are actually. I may not actually 
maybe I should actually not be using these so they are different bags so maybe she wouldn't have died after all well it doesn't matter So special cards. I've no idea what these cards are, but I think I should not have been using them because we have encounter cards for Africa and for Egypt. So, um, Okay. Um, if you are terrified, you are terrified to see night gods descend from the night sky. Test will. Her will is three. And she is going to add one die and she passes if you pass you stay calm and believe and, del and it delivers a gift from Nordens gain one random magical asset from the deck but well, we're going to take the holy spear okay and we're going to replace it okay good so let's see um so now we've got um Jacqueline finding Cairo, and this time we're going to draw the right card. People leave small gifts at a temple of bust. Gain a random trinket asset from the deck. Okay, she's going to take the lucky ring. So the way this works is if it's already here in the offering, you take it from the offering. And what does this thing do? The lucky ring. You may reroll one die when resolving a test. Brilliant. Um... In gratitude, you search for cats. <laughs> Observation minus one. And she passes. If you pass, feeding these cats pleases bust. Gain one boon condition. And she also gets to spend one um, and put it on the current... Um, ...thing. So we're going to get a boon condition. She's blessed. Super. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Now we draw a Mythos card. Secrets of the Past. At the market you learn that another group of men have been asking about the same lost temple. You hope to get there first. Ongoing rumour. Investigators cannot resolve expedition encounters. 
As an encounter, an investigator on the active expedition space may attempt to uncover secrets lost to time and history. If he passes, he may spend clues equal to half the number of investigators to solve this rumor. I'm wondering if I'm missing something. This whole investigation, this whole... Um, expedition thing. I don't have that, actually. This is really weird. Yeah. I'm completely unsure, but we're just going to draw another card because I'm not sure what this is actually supposed to do. Let's take this one instead. Ongoing rumor. Well, it's as an encounter and investigation, they seven may attempt to find these strangers based on his observations. If he passes, he convinces La Policia to remove these strangers. He may spend clues um, equal to half and solve these rumors. Number seven is over here. Um, it can stay there forever, but what happens is um, if you don't solve it each time, there is a reckoning. <clears throat> and we're going to spawn a clue as well. And we spawn it in Shanghai. Okay. Um, Lily Chen is going to buy a... Um, train ticket and she's going to go to Shanghai to encounter this clue. Um, Lily Chen is going to go to Rome where she's going to do a focus action. And Jacqueline Fine still has one clue, has two clues left. She's going to stay where she is and she's going to focus and then she's going to yeah, why not? She's going to test her influence. And she rolls no successes. Okay. Good. So, um, encounters. Jacqueline Fine. Cairo. At Groppies, you hope to charm your fellow diners with your tales. Influence. Test influence. Oh, she's actually blessed. She passes. If you pass, you win over a new friend. Gain one random ally. Conspiracy theorist. Gain plus two observation. That's not too shabby because she can really use this. Okay. She can also spend one clue to put it on this. So that was Jacqueline. Lola Hayes is just going to encounter the Rome space and see what happens to her there. A group of black shirts are interrogating an old priest and you try to intervene. She rolled six dice for this one. Yeah, she succeeds. Um, inside you interrupt a ritual and must resist the effect of its magical energies. Um, will. She gets four dice because we're going to use her ability and she passes. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. She improves her, um, she doesn't test 
her influence, she improves it, but she can't improve it any further, so um, that's fine. But she did pass the test she had to take. Okay, so nothing happened there. So um, now we have Lily, and she's going to encounter this one. Um, and it's a city space. You search the weathered papyrus scrolls for information about Nefren Ka, but the ancient Egyptians tried to expunge all records of the dark pharaoh from existence, so information is scarce at best. Observation minus one. Um, okay. So she rolls one die, and she manages it. If you pass, you find a brief mention of this game one clue. Very good. Excellent. Well done. Um, mythos phase. Um, okay, so first of all, the omen moves, but we don't have any red gates. Um, we spawn one in Cairo, of all places. So we also get a monster. And it's a witch. Um, there's a reckoning. Everyone moves one step closer to the um, bent pyramid. And on a reckoning... First of all, we're going to do... the blessed condition, and it stays with her. Then we're going to roll one die, and if nothing happens, she would have gained a clue on a four, five, or six because of her research person. And those are all the ones that have reckoning. Okay. In your darkest moment, your compa compatriots find a way to help you shoulder the burden. Each one finds a way to make sure that you never have to suffer alone. In the midst of such horrors, this thought alone provides you with some solace. The lead investigator loses health equal to his current health. What? The lead investigator loses health equal to his current health unless other investigators as a group lose health. So that's a positive one. Okay, so um, that's a together we stand. So we all, yeah, okay, whatever. So um, in total, we need to lose three minds and three hearts. So she has six hearts. So we're just going to take these from her. She has six. She never lost any. And then we're going to lose. Um, yeah, so that's fine. We did this. That was a weird one. Okay. Good. Um, so, uh, Lily now also has a clue. Um, now, let's see. Lola has... Lily's going to go first, one, two. Then Lola is going to give her um, the magical spear. That's a free action. Then Lola is going to focus And then she's going to go to Istanbul to encounter this. Um, but 
she's going to move to the pyramids to Etel El Amarna. And then she's going to focus. And she has, yeah, well. In my game, you can have as many focus tokens as you like. In camp, so we're going to start with Lola. She's going to have a an expedition encounter. On a high hill, you find a large flat stone carved with images of constellations. Locals claim these were left by the astrologer Epigenes. You search the area for more of these carved stones. Oh, there was a reckoning. This one gets moved. Um, her observation is two, but she can add one. She will and she fails. You ser your search is interrupted when worshippers of da Daoloth attack you. Um, strength. She fails. Spends one. And she passes. If you pass, you defeat them and discover their knowledge of the future. Retreat doom by one. Well, that was a good one. Okay. Okay, good. Um, so this goes away and it moves to the heart of Africa. Uh, Lily Chen encounters the pyramids. Stones are arranged in a pattern that leads you to, to a cave. Inside you carefully try to avoid falling down pits. Observation. She passes. If you pass, you find a skeleton cradling an object. Gain one relic unique as asset. Ah. Kopesh of the Abyss. It's a weapon. Gain plus five during combat encounters. Once per round, when you defeat a monster during a combat encounter, you may move to the nearest space containing a monster. Okay, cool. Um, Tel El Amarna. A feluca rests on the river bank. Inside you find a strange symbol carved into the wood. Tess Law. She is blessed, so she gets four blue dice. Fails. So she's going to spend one. Or you may re roll one die anywhere without the focus because she has a trinket. And she passes. Um, if you pass, you read the journey of a madman as he travels up the river. One, gain one clue and spawn one clue on the Nile River. Gain one clue. You're going to put here and spawn one on the Nile River um, over here. So we have finished our first mystery. So this goes away and we, we open up the next one, the beast. The resurrection of Nefren Ka, the dark pharaoh, is prophesied by, to be heralded by a sinister and terrible portent, the awakening of the great Sphinx of Giza and its subsequent reign of destruction. When this card enters play, spawn the beast epic monster on the Ben Pyramid. It cannot lose health unless the active investigator has one or more relic possessions. Uh, yes, we have those. At the end of the mythos phase, if the beast epic monster has been defeated, solve this mystery. Okay.
east. Magical resistance. Toughness is equal to the total number of investigators plus two. Uh, where do we spawn it? Hill Pyramid. Okay, so she needs... Um, She at the moment has plus six. Okay, good. So that was that mythos. We move the doom. We have a monster spawn. Oh, sorry, first we get a clue and it goes to the bent pyramid. And last but by no means least, we have uh, each investigator with at least one ally asset discards one ally asset asset and gains a haunted condition. Whoop. That's not good. So everyone loses their ally. That's terrible. And they all get a haunted condition. Okay. If you would gain a blessed condition or improve, you may discard this card instead. Okay, if somebody's already blessed, apparently that doesn't make any difference. It goes away. Okay, so now we need to change our plans a little bit because now, unfortunately, Lily Chen is down to plus four against the beast. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this slightly differently. Um, So, um, also we have a monster surge. At each gate that matches the omen tokens current space, spawn the number of monsters. So, okay, we spawn two monsters in London. And we move doom by one because of this. Okay, um, um, okay, so far so good, um, what are you, Sean and the children, okay, so we don't need clues for this particular thing at the moment, so that's good. So Lily Chen um, is going to move to the pyramids and then to Tel Alamana which is actually one action. She's going to then get, she's then going to focus and then she's going, that's her go. Next up is Jacqueline. She's going to get the clue from her as an action and then she is going to um, she's then going to move to the pyramids um, And then we have Lola 
who's going to use six dice and she has two successes go one more dice so two successes and she is going to get a um, she's going to get a 38 revolver And then she's going to um, she's going to move to the pyramids. So um, first of all, we're going to have a Tel El Amana encounter. Wrong card. Um, the Black Brotherhood is sacrificing a ram on the desert altar near the northern tombs. Test observation. She passes. If you pass, you hear them pray to the dark pharaoh in Dashwood. Spawn one clue on the bent pyramid. Okay, <clears throat> so now we've got two in the pyramids. Um, uh, Jacqueline goes first. You find a mass grave and hear the voices of the dead in your head. Test will. So she's blessed. And she passes. If you pass, they share their knowledge with you so that you might avoid a similar fate. Gain one talent condition. Nice. Um, She's elusive. Okay. That's nice. Um, next up is um, Lola Hayes. Nothing grows in this dusty grey landscape and the air makes you sick to your stomach. Test strength minus one. So she rolls one die. And she fails and she's going to use her ability to... Oh, she, she can roll a second die. So second die is a fail and then she's going to use her focus and she fails. <clears throat> If you pass, no. If you fail, you feel an an a natural change take hold within you as the corrupted air infects your body. Gain a cursed condition. It's not good. Um, Okay, so, um, mythos phase. Doom advances. Um, reckoning. Everybody moves one closer to the bent pyramid. One. One. Um, Advance omen by one because of this. Um, we spawn a gate in Antarctica. Let's see. Um, this one has a... Move this monster one space to the nearest investigator. 
that's actually neither here nor there. Okay, um, reckoning. Flip this card of the haunted condition. Each night the spectre visits your dreams and each morning you wake feeling as though you have forgotten something important. Discard one clue and impair law. Then flip this card. She can't even, even get rid of this. Okay, great. Um... She keeps a blessed condition. Um, haunted. She flips it. Wherever you go, the phantom follows you, watch follows, always watching you. Um, the spirit never leaves your side, even in public. Each day you hear the shrieks of horror. Um, lose one sanity and impair influence. Sheesh. Is the haunted condition and the bane. Okay, let's try the cursed condition first. And she doesn't lose the cursed condition. Um, so she does the haunted one and she rolls a one as well. Um, with each new leg of your investigation, you come cro across the same spirit, always travelling. It has followed you for so long now that you have begun seeing it everywhere you look. Discard one focus and impair observation. She ha doesn't have one and she's going to impair observation. Okay. Um, Um, the resources you have spent your lifetime collecting are gone. Like a house of cards, your world falls to pieces around you. With certain doom looming on the horizon, you have no other choice but to start again from nothing. The investigator with the most item possessions discards all of his item possessions. Oh God. Most items. One, two. That's two. One, two, three, four. Okay, so she discards all of her possessions. That's terrible. Um, she discards, she has the most spells. She's the only one who's got a spell, so she's going to lose that spell. With the most clues, discards all of his clues. That's her. Okay, goody. Um, okay. And this one goes away as well. So now we have the issue that Lily Chen um, What about this beast again? Its toughness is five. It takes away one from your will when you do your will check and it removes three from your attack. So, um, okay. So what we're going to do now is first of all, we're going to um, give the Derringer to her and we're going to give the 45 automatic to her. Um, and we're going to give her the lucky ring. So these are free actions because everybody's in the same space. That's fine. Um, so now Lily Chen is going to try and kill the beast. So it's observation minus one for the will check. So she rolls two dice. And she fails. So she rolls again. And she fails. So she loses two 
mental health, but that's fine. So now she's going to try and attack it using um, 7 minus 3 is 4 dice. And she does two damage. She can then re-roll one. That's not enough, but she does two damage. And she takes three wounds. Its toughness is five. Oh, and she also gets to roll one additional die when resolving a test because she's on the same space as Lola Hayes. And that's another success. Which means she did three successes, so she doesn't take any damage. Because I think you don't take damage if you manage to meet that. So it's going to be there. Oh, and she can also exhaust this to reduce the toughness by one. That's brilliant. Um, so, um, Lola is now going to try this. And she is going to um, uh, encounter the beast. And she's going to roll her will, two dice, and she passes, so she doesn't um, take any damage. And then she's going to use her fight, that's four minus three, but she gets plus one die because of her special ability, trade the boards. And she does one point of damage and the beast is killed, um, which is good. And this one goes away, and we solve the second mystery. And then we draw the last mystery, the Black Wind. A vicious, tempestuous storm wreaks havoc upon the people and lands of Egypt, leaving naught but desolate wasteland in its wake. And yet, it may only be masking an even deadlier threat. When this card enters play, place one Eldritch token on each of the following spaces, Alexandria, the Bent Pyramid, Cairo, and Tel El Amarna. In Cairo. Um, as an encounter, an investigator on a space containing an Eldritch token may attempt to banish the Black Wind from Egypt. He draws and resolves a Black Wind special encounter. Okay, now that's what these are. This is the Black Wind special encounters. And as we saw, they are hideous. Uh, these are the Black Wind special encounters. Okay. Uh... We need two. Okay. So now it's Jacqueline. She's going to um, try and get a clue. Uh, wilderness. Someone has um, etched a series of hieroglyphs into the earth. You translate them to the best of your knowledge. Test law. Her law is three, but she is blessed. And she passes. If you pass, the marking depicts a sunken pyramid rising up from the sand. Gain this clue. If, yeah, okay, so that's that. Mythos. Oh, God. Reckoning. We're all already there. Um... The thingy, the Nile River, Sp Starsborn. 
Um, each investigator discards clues equal to the number of rumor mythos cards in the play. Great. If there are no rumor, okay, that's fine. So now everybody does a reckoning. Nothing. 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 Okay, Lola was cursed. I don't know what she rolled to to win against the thing, but we will just take it as a um, as a boon. So she's cursed. She's uncursed now. And okay. Okay. So we can't do anything about this rumor because we don't have any clues. So what we're going to do is we are going to do the following. Um, Jacqueline Fine is going to encounter the Eldritch token because there is no other way we can do this. Black Wind. You stand up atop a sprawling sand dune watching the black wind blow swiftly across the desert. From city to city it blows, smothering... Oh, sorry. She's going to take one focus action first. Um... And leaving only smoking ruins behind you. Examine your map carefully to determine where the black wind will strike next. Um, observation. Her observation is three. And she is blessed. That um, My camera just died there. So we were standing on top of this um, hill looking down. And now we need to do a um, observation test. She has three. And she is blessed. And she manages this with three successes. And if you reach a small, you reach, a, if you, so basically we succeeded. You reach a small village before the black wind and you call out uh, to the spirits of those um, it has slain. Um, influence. She fails, so she is going to... Use one influ uh, one focus, and she passes. If you pass, you are infused with the righteous fury of Sechmet, goddess of vengeance, and banish the black wind from the village. Place this eldritch token on the active mystery. Woohoo! We need one more. Well, yeah, considering that we also lost Zoe, because we played this wrong, that's... I guess fine. Okay. So, um, that was her. So, next up, I think we're going to try this again. And Lily Chen is going to encounter the second um, on this space. The black wind blows over the skies of Egypt, obscuring the sun and casting the earth into shadow. Inky coils spiral downward from... Oh, sorry, she also has to do, has to do some actions. So first of all, she's going to um, focus. And that's all she is going to do, because there's nothing else she can do. Okay, so let's see. Um, inky coils spiral downwards from the sky, infecting the soil wherever they touch down. Anxious and afraid, you call upon a, a chant to invoke the old powers to show you a sign of hope. Um, test law. And she fails. Um, uh, now she may reroll one die when resolving tests. She passes. 
No sooner than the words leave your mouth, the words leave your mouth, you are visited by an aspect of Khepri, who pushes the sun across the morning sky, long abandoned by his followers. Khepri's aid is not easily enlisted. Test influence. Well, she only has one. If you pass, Khepri ejects the black wind from his realm. She fails, but she has one focus, which she is going to use. And she fails again. If you fail, he rebukes you. Gain one injury condition. <clears throat> Um, one injury condition. There was one head injury. Okay. So, yeah, she's not in a good place. So now we're going to gain a focus for <clears throat> our friend here. And she's going to try, um, L L Lola Hayes is also trying to fight the black wind. Let's see, maybe she is more lucky. At night, uh, the black wind swirls about the graves of the recently deceased and not, not long after the dead claw their way to the surface. You search through a collection of ancient papyrus scrolls, hoping to find a way to send the risen dead into the afterlife. She has no observation, but you always get to roll one die. And she fails. So she's going to spend this and hope for the best, and she passes. You find a suitable prayer to Anubis, god of the underworld, and undertake the accompanying ritual. Test law two. Oh yeah, she can actually add one more die because of her special ability. And she passes. If you pass, Anubis, may made furious by the encroachment upon his domain, banishes the black wind, place this eldritch token on the active mystery, and we win the game. Okay, now this was a really shoddy one. Um, it was a it was a difficult ride because I haven't played this game in a very very long time. The last time I played, I actually broke off because it was kind of getting really boring. So um, I don't know what happened there, but um, this time round, it was actually tough. One person was devoured because yeah, well they would have been devoured even if we had played this correctly because she would have encountered this black wind at some point and she would have died. So that was okay, I guess. Um, but with three investigators, it seems to play. I don't know. No, it doesn't play more easy. No, I don't know what happened, but this time round. I may have been making serious mistakes, but it it worked quite well. It it um, I really I mean I thought it it played quickly, um, and we only lost one person. And we managed to retract Doom. We do you remember we drew this one card which let us retract Doom, um, and we also didn't have that many monsters. We didn't get that many gates. So I don't know. Um, that was that was strange as well. So um, that was Eldritch Horror, um, Ladies Against Egypt, and I hope you enjoyed this. And I wish you a pleasant rest of the day. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.